So I'm hoping that works to let her in the country. If not, it's going to turn into a very awkward moment where we won't be allowed in the country and we'll have to figure something out whether it's flying her back to Bangkok. I don't really know what's going to happen. I made a bit of a mistake. So today we're heading to Ho Chi Minh City, doing a bit of a visa run so that we can stay in Thailand longer. And when I originally booked the tickets, I had this thought of let's get to Ho Chi Minh as quickly as possible and as early in the day so we have lots of time to spend there. What I forgot was what my work schedule is. One of the reasons that we're able to make this trip, spend all this time in Asia is because I'm still working my job back in Canada. And to do that, I've been working 8 p.m. to 4 a.m which we've actually really loved. I was really nervous about it, but it's turned out to be great and I've been able to spend way more time with Victoria and Clara during the day. So it's been awesome. But when it came to booking our flights and my workday not ending till four, that means there's only four hours between when I finish my day and when we have to fly. So looks like I'm gonna be pulling an all-nighter. I'm gonna finish up packing, grab a shower, and then I'm gonna go wake the girls up so that we can get to the airport on time. Good morning. Time to get all of our stuff and take it to go get in the car and go to the airport for the next adventure. Something that we've really enjoyed while we've been here is this towel bin. What would you like to drink today? Lots of coffee. It's pretty much just a vending machine, except it makes all sorts of drinks on demand. My favorite beverage over the last month has been lychee soda, 60% sweet. But this morning, I'm gonna have a coffee because I've been up all night. Clara woke up entirely on her own, which is incredible. She never wakes up at 5.30, thankfully, but today was the day that she decided she wanted to, so it worked out really well. Good morning, Clara. It's our guy. Time to go. stopped in baggage screening, but he has my passport. They told us to keep going, but I, I need my passport. So we've just kind of uh, pulled off and we're waiting. Oopsies. What? So I totally forgot that I had three drone batteries and a power bank in my check bag. That's a big no-no. So the people were very nice, but it was very intimidating, not speaking the language. They were all saying a lot of things to me, but they were all very pleasant. Did you get to keep the batteries and the drone? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, now all the batteries and the power bank are in my carry-on baggage, so we're good to go. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so even when we were arriving in Bangkok the first time, I was so impressed with Bangkok Airways. They had a lounge for everyone who's flying on the airline to go into, and now that we're in Koh Samui, they have this beautiful little complimentary section where you can get little sandwiches, cookies, coffee, orange juice, Whole bunch of things that just go so above and beyond what we've come to expect in North America for flights. We've also mentioned before the Cosmia Airport looks like a resort. It's so so pleasant. <laughs> We're about to board. I'm a little more nervous about this flight than I have been in the past just because this little one needs a little bit more entertainment than she has before. So we'll see. But she's hungry and sleepy so we should be able to feed her and have her fall asleep and then we'll be okay. I haven't mentioned enough how much I love Bangkok Airways. We're currently sitting, everyone's boarded, we haven't taken off yet, and rather than being a billion degrees in here, they're letting mist out through all the vents to make sure everyone stays cool. All my worrying and stress. 
dressing and everything. I should know my daughter by now to know that she's still just the easiest. Didn't make a peep the whole flight. <laughs> so as we've been planning this trip, I've really gotten into travel hacking, just really trying to make sure that we spend as little money as possible on flights and getting to places as quickly as possible. So I booked our flight for this morning, but I was a little silly and I only booked a two hour window between when we landed here in Bangkok and when we're supposed to leave for Vietnam. The issue is our flight to Vietnam got changed to half an hour earlier. So now we're gonna rush to baggage claim, get our bags, hopefully get to the international terminal, check our bags, go through security, and then if all works out well, catch our flight. Okay, now it's a bit of a game of hurry up and wait. Made it to baggage claim need to wait for our bags. But one thing I forgot to mention earlier is that we actually don't have Clara's visa to get into Vietnam yet. I was hoping that it would arrive via email uh, while we all were on our flight here, but it hasn't. I put her down under my name as a dependent, so I'm hoping that works to let her in the country. If not, it's gonna turn into a very awkward moment where we won't be allowed in the country and we'll have to figure something out, whether it's flying right back to Bangkok or I don't really know what's gonna happen. So fingers crossed that this works and uh, we'll keep you posted. Okay, let's... Motor. We have everything? I hope so. Nah. Okay, so far so good. They checked our visas here at the airport. I know they're gonna check them again once we actually land in Vietnam, so we'll see how that goes, but we're at least getting on the plane. That feels like a win. Once again, we've been ushered to the fast track. It's so great traveling with a baby. And I like traveling with people that have a baby. <laughs> Our flight's a little bit delayed, which gave us a little bit of buffer, which was really nice. But rather than showing you the exact same thing that we just did, we'll just see you in Vietnam. We made it to Vietnam. <laughs> it's been a bit of a ride. You'll notice we're not at the Ho Chi Minh City Airport. We got in, we had a few issues with our visas. Well, we didn't actually have any issues with our visas. It was just a misunderstanding, but there were thousands of people lined up. It took us a couple of hours to get through. And then we took a grab from the airport to our Airbnb and it was just pure chaos the whole way there in the best way possible. There were bikes and cars everywhere, tons of honking. Our driver was pretty incredible and we made it here safely. Now we are going to get some banh mi sandwiches for lunch and head to the War Remnants Museum. Okay, go ahead, hop in. That was the most phenomenal experience as I was chatting with my new Vietnamese best friend, or Clara's new best friend. <laughs> the owner came out, I was explaining that they also partner with a charity where every sandwich that they sell, they donate a thousand Vietnamese dong to a charity. So it was such a wonderful, wonderful surprise that not only were our sandwiches delicious, but they're also giving back. So you definitely need to go. We have a link in the description below. And now we are in our grab and we are heading to the War Remnants Museum. Let's go 
get our tickets. I'm not sure if we can film inside, so we might just see you later. That was super heavy. I expected it to not be a feel-good experience. I expected to learn a lot, which I did, but I did not anticipate the impact of seeing the mothers and their babies and how this war impacted them as I'm carrying Clara on me. Um, I also didn't know about the Agent, um, Agent Orange impact, this toxin that impacted people for generations. These otherwise perfectly healthy babies that have lifelong impacts because of the atrocities that were done upon them. Yeah. We didn't get to film anything inside other than a few pans, but I think the thing that stuck out to me the most was how holistically they told the story of the war. It was more than just an opportunity for Vietnam to bash the United States, which I, I think they would have had every right to do, but they, they told the story in such a way that explained you know, how there were a lot of people in the U.S. that were against this war and how countries all around the world rallied towards them. It was a really holistic picture. It makes me appreciate the people of Vietnam in a whole new way that I, I don't think I ever would have realized. That, on top of the fact, this was 80,000 dong, so it was about $5 for Victoria and I both to come in and see this, and it's something that I think we'll take with us for a long time. So we're gonna head back to our place, debrief a little bit more, and then figure out what the day looks like from here.